Hello, I'm Paul, a technical account manager based out of Jacksonville, Florida. Today I'm going to show you how to import a 256-bit self-managed key into AWS Key Management Service. Let's get started. Let's go through the process of creating an empty key, generating a 256-bit symmetric key, applying the Base64 encoded key, and finalizing the action by importing it into your AWS Key Management Service environment. I'll be using a Linux instance to do this today. But as a prerequisite for any OS, you must have OpenSSL installed to perform these actions. So be sure that you have installed OpenSSL ahead of time. First, create a key with no material by using the following command within the AWS command line interface. You'll see the following output to confirm the command ran successfully. You can also verify this in the console as well. Click on Customer Manage Keys. Note that the pending import status is present for two specific scenarios. When we created the key awaiting import material, as we are in this instance, and when we purge the key material that we imported. After you create your empty key, you use the open SSL command to generate the 256-bit symmetric key. After you finish this, run this command to describe the key and get the parameters for the import. Keep in mind this command will turn your key import parameters into a variable that will be called later. You must modify the command to add the region and key ID as needed. This example shows my configuration. After you variableize your key, run the following commands to place the public key and the import token into separate Base64 encoded files. After you do this, run the following commands to convert the Base64 files into binary files for import. Run these commands to encrypt the key material with the public key that was converted to a binary file. When this is done, run the following command to import the encrypted key material into AWS KMS. Here is what my command looks like. After this is complete, you can now verify the results within the console or by running the describe key call within AWS CLI. Here's the output from my example. This is how you'll see it in the console. If you run into an error, one of two things has occurred. Scenario one, you waited longer than 24 hours and the token import has expired. You can resolve this by downloading the wrapping key and import the token again to re-encrypt the key material. Scenario 2. Your key material is not a 256-bit symmetric key, and you must verify by running one of the following commands depending on your OS. For Linux, for Windows, here's an example of what a good pair of binary files look like for my Linux host. And now you know how to import a 256-bit self-managed key into AWS Key Management Service. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.